Hey guys, I'm on. I'm in Lando Lakes, Florida, and I was just driving place past this place called uh, Welton Brewing Company. Uh, they're over here uh, near uh, State Road 54, and I drove past this thing, and I thought, hey, this is pretty cool. It's an old Ford 3600. You know, steak bed, or I'm sorry, Chevy 3600. And uh, I guess he just uses it here. It's all it's got little lights on it, but he uses it here for, uh, you know, promote the brewing company. Don't know if it actually moves or not. It's, uh, it's just, it's actually, you know, it's it's not like when you go to a lot of places. It's they have like just. Uh, fiberglass replicas out this is a real truck you i'm sean brandon. hey randy brandon. so oh brandon hey brandon so a lot of times like if you go down to a lot of bars or whatever they just have like a fiberglass replica right right that's a real truck that is a real truck it's 1953 chevy yep and uh like is it what why is it like how to get here like <laughs> like why is it here what did you so did... we found this in punta gordo okay and what we did is uh because we had a lot of restrictions with signage right particularly anything yeah i noticed here it's really that. hard to find your way around here it's really uh i'm not from here i'm from fort myers oh, sure it's a government kind of it's very hard to get different types of signage so we decided to use something on wheels because that's allowed okay so we picked this up strictly for signage and then hopes in the future to kind of outfit the back with some type of keg system to where right. we can take it to events. So mobile and things. things. Like exactly. Does it have an engine? It does. Because it has a full interior. Oh yeah, and it runs. So okay. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, but it's just a very cool little thing, and you guys know whenever I see something on the side of the road, uh, it's just cool to, to check them out. And uh, I was surprised. I was like, wow. Let me let me see. I've seen it a couple times driving past, and uh, so I thought, you know, let me stop and check it out. But very cool. Well, hey man, appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks for stopping by. Man. All right, and uh, it's a you so guys are what? What do you? You're a brewing company, yes. so you're like uh, one of craft beer places. Craft beer and uh, an oyster bar. So we bring oysters in from Maine. Oh, okay. So can people come here? Absolutely. This is our. <coughs> Excuse me. So and we're uh, we're open for seafood on Fridays and Saturday nights. Oh, okay. And then uh, Sundays for beer, and if we have any leftovers, and then. Do you guys have uh, takeout beer? Like is we it? Do. Okay. Yeah, we so have bottle. growlers. You can bring your own growler or anything. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. So there you go, guys. If, and I'm in where? Land Lake. Land Lakes. Land Lakes, and that's State Road 54, which I think is. I don't know what, what exit is that off of 75. Oh, that's a great question. If so, we just look for 54, I'll use 54. 75. It's it's Lando Lakes, right? No. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Lando, Lando Lakes. Lakes. So if you get off Lando Lakes on 54, you drive past all the commercial crappy stuff that's out there, and then turn right on here. And 41. You, yeah, and you'll go across some I think train tracks. Or right before train tracks, you'll see this guy. So anyway, check him out and check out the truck when you get over here. It's pretty cool. All right, guys. Talk to you later. So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. I just left the brewery which is right down the street there. And check what I saw right here. I'm in like this little, it's called Area 41 Auto Sales. And a Sport Custom Ford pickup. Ford 100. got some rust on it but that's okay we don't mind that so, hey how you doing help you anything? yeah i'm sean Junk, nice to junk meet you, and barn finds i have a youtube channel okay and uh just find old stuff and i saw this and thought told him it's at uh area 41 yeah and uh i'm from fort myers but we're in land of lakes right yeah, land of lakes. so land of lakes and i just saw this and you know 
in case any of our viewers want to that's cool man. get a hold of it's actually i'm ex-military me too and um this guy's navy i was navy i was p3s yeah i did uh, i was ms ms2 I was okay i was a w aw oh yeah so, man, my room my first roommate was an helo guys right? s3s p3s yeah, yeah we did um i did an hs3 squadron hs5 okay. and um, i actually did a little bit of search and rescue stand and watch out there oh, okay but it's a 71 um and it's a ford f100 everything's matching vins matching um you know engine right uh, what's it and what's it got for the engine just a v8 uh, um, it's a 302 two barrel i'm not okay. really versed on the that's okay cars, 302 but, but it's a v8 so it's not the v8. straight six yeah not and the what he did tell me is that um this year was for ford the first year that it came out with hubcaps for trucks. Right. He's got the four original hubcaps oh, so that go with the truck. So he, so they go with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. your name? Your Vinny. 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 Hey, Vinny. Vinny. Sean. Nice to meet you. So, man. so yeah. So if you guys know, I don't get involved in buying and selling stuff, but if there's stuff out here, yeah, I'll have to um, check out your channel, man. Go to. Let's see, you guys. This is them. Pretty cool. Yeah. www.area41auto.com. Yeah. Not a sponsor. Not getting nothing for this, you guys know that. Um, but Ed Meyer Ford, Memphis, Tennessee. So I've been near Millington, Tennessee. Yeah, I guess. And what he was telling me, I learned a lot with the truck. Is you know back, you know how now they put the, the yeah stickers here back then because the bumpers were made of steel. Yeah. Most of the dealerships would advertise by putting the the etching right into the bumper. Yes, yeah, so that's etched in, guys. That is that's probably the if it ain't the original. It's an original off of some Ford 100. Yeah, let me grab the keys. I'll start it up. For All you. right. We'll, we'll check this thing out, guys. It's pretty neat. I mean, it's got tiny little bits here and there. You know. But the nice thing is, I mean, it looks like it's been... If it was painted, it was painted a long time ago. So he'll get the keys and we'll... We'll check it out. See if it's open. Oh yeah, it's open. Solid. Uh, it's got no weird smells in it or anything. So that's okay. And it's an automatic. Probably need to pump a second. It's been probably sitting here. All Is it got a, I wonder if it had a manual choke. I guess now it's not like the fuel injection, so you got to give yeah. it a little gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he did some work on the engine. I think he, um, the front part, he was telling me, he did um, the carburetor, he did the front part of the engine, the belt, the chain, everything right. that went to it. But I'll pop the hood for okay. you now, too. Yeah, I think he said it just old school, so. Yeah, last. probably just grab it from the outside. There you go. So it doesn't have no power steering, guy. Uh, yeah, no power steering, no, no power seat. brakes, but that's okay. So uh, I think somebody at one time upgraded the brakes, guys, because that would normally be just a single cylinder. So they did upgrade it a while back. And uh, you can see the fuel in here. So he's got one of the clear glass fuel filters. Everything else kind of looks like it's original. So um, it runs good. I didn't. I, you know, you smell a little bit just because it's old and, you, you know, when it probably started up, but no smoke. We got no smoke coming out. I don't see any big leakage or anything else. So, all the belts are good. All the belts are just one. So, this is a neat truck. This would be a really fun first project truck for somebody. Or if you just want a farm truck or something, it'd be really good for that. Uh... But yeah, it started right up. It's an automatic. Yep. So for all you millennials, and that no, means no power steering. Yeah, right. so, you know, it's a little bit of a little, driving. But and I think no AC in that year. Either. Yeah, there's no AC on here. Yeah, there's no AC or anything, but no power brakes. But that's good. Less to go wrong. If this wants to be a, this would be a really good first car father son project because it's simple. It's super simple. It looks like it's got an after, it's got an aftermarket carb on there, but that's okay. Um, and 
it doesn't even it's got points guys so if you want to learn how to upgrade something to electronic ignition it still has points in it so this is real old school so i could work on it because this is what i'm used to growing up so looks like it's got brand new fuel uh pumps in it so new water pump so yeah it it, it sounds and looks good guys so if anybody's really looking for something like this and honestly like i said i mean there's just a little bubbles in here but that's cool because it shows you that the paint's old enough it wasn't repainted so i mean it probably was at one point but the paint's old enough that we don't see any weight reduction anywhere what he said what he said to me specifically was there's no through the body rust right and what you see is a patine which was a new word right, for patina. me small patina on some of the parts but no through the body rust is what he was telling yeah. me was really really important and for the, the beds to know and the beds in really good shape so yeah this is like this is a, a ready to go rod guys so it, it gives you enough it's a, it's stock enough to give you something to play with but you could just take it home and run and it's already got the dual exhaust on it now you see a little bit that's okay you're gonna have that you put a little bit of you know it just need a little bit of a tune-up but other than that it looks pretty sweet guys so um if you're interested in it i'm gonna go i'm gonna put a phone number here it's 813-388-6879 and give Vin, give Vinny a call yeah. and uh you know he can send you pictures if you're not local and uh i'm sure they would ship it anywhere but started right up and so it looks good but, okay yeah you can see this right on the website of area41auto.com but uh pretty neat pretty neat and no i don't talk to pricing that's not my deal you go on website you talk to vinny you all talk your own pricing on that kind of stuff because like i said i don't get involved i don't need anybody trying to arrest my butt for being an unauthorized unlicensed car dealer car. It's all right. so, we'll make you a, so we'll make you an ordinary <laughs> car dealer area 41 today. No, no. <laughs> but anyway guys that's pretty cool just wanted to stop and show you so remember you like this stuff to subscribe put comments down put comments down if you want to, to tell me what you think and uh here's april we'll see you later april should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one probably just for this one It says merchandise store right here merchandise store link you will see it says https forward slash junkyards dash bar dash barn dash finds with and you click on that and it's going to take you here